Now the thing is, I feel that you can still use a lot of your stuff. Like, can you still craft things? But none of your terraforming things work. Yeah, you can still craft things. It's just no, no terraforming works. But I don't really care about terraforming stuff anymore. That's the thing. <laughs> I need iridium. I hope we already have explosives. Oh, it was explosive power and circuits, that's right, because I was trying to make explosives. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, I have another fuse as well. Cool. Make some explosives. Hydration level critical. We'll get to that, don't worry. Put those in here. Yeah, the smuggler ending is definitely the most involved. Because you have to have partaken in the trading for a lot more of the game. Ideally. But you can go around and like I've been doing, we can just find a lot of extra stuff that uh, we no longer need. Let's go stick the solar quartz in the inventory. It just fits. There we go. Um, so we don't have the option yet until we have the terror tokens available. And there are some of those caves that are hidden by explosives that I was going to plunder while I'm waiting for my rockets to come back. Actually, one of them hadn't been sent yet, had it? I should find more things to put inside that rocket. And I guess that's where having power is still useful, unless these are still producing things, but probably not. Yeah, these aren't filling up anymore, I don't think. Um, hmm. What do I put in the rocket then? Oh, rods. Just, like, uranium rods or something, I guess, because they're worth the most out of what there is available. Uh, spare rocket engine. <laughs> Let's just take some of those out and send them off just so I can get the terror tokens from all of those fuses. Oh, there we go. That was a good like 20 odd thousand. But we're going to be very short. We're still going to need so much stuff. Which means we're probably going to have to try and fire up our power again. At least temporarily. And that means either making more fusion reactors or just downsizing a lot of our other stuff. We can now get rid of a lot of these tree spreaders. Which used a lot of materials, unfortunately, so we're going to get very full very quickly. But tier 3 tree spreaders do take a fair bit of power. Like each one is 153. I think the tier 5 heaters were pretty bad. But the tier 4s aren't that bad. Oh, did I leave something over there? It really doesn't matter at this point, does it? Like, it doesn't matter if I leave a lot of materials behind when I deconstruct things. <laughs> so if we just yank that, get rid of that, yank that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And I think I can do one more. Uh, I kind of like the golden ones, though. <laughs> you can stay <laughs> for now. Where's the machine optimizer, actually? Here it is. So if I get rid of that, since it's not doing anything now, then that'll help. 37,000 TT. There we go. That's that's more like it. The drone station we can just get rid of because that's not doing anything anyway now. So that's over here. So we take you out and deconstruct you. Yeah, there's another fusion cell, which is worth a decent amount as well. So that's handy. Um, what do we got? Circuit boards we can also trade. There's just so, so many of these things we can just trade. <laughs> There we go. So how much is that worth? 454. Yeah, see that's the problem is they're not worth that much. The most you can get off a rocket is 2000 and that's if you fill it with fusion energy cells. Otherwise pulsar quartz are quite good and the fact that it takes three of those to make one of those means that you're probably better off just putting the pulsar quartz in instead. It might be that we do have to try and uh, get things working again in order to keep feeding these with stuff. Especially since it takes like, what, 10 minutes for each rocket to come back, which is quite a long time. The fact that you can still craft things when power is out is just super useful. Uh, we should be deconstructing more of these uh, like tree spreaders and stuff too, probably. 
Oh, that's the blue one. I like the blue one. This is a very weird phase of the game now. <laughs> but it's almost like... If you think of it in the way of... Okay, we've done the Sentinel Core's bidding. We've terraformed the planet. We've unlocked our ability to leave. But we don't trust them. So we don't want to leave back to the Sentinel Core. So now we're kind of just removing what makes the planet useful again. Yep, good. Another 27,000. Nice. That's still not enough. <laughs> I just know that that is still not enough. We've got a lot more work to do. So there's still wrecks on the planet that I can explore that might have more Terra tokens as well. Uh, yeah, you're you guys are going to be getting hungry now. Hmm. Well, you're not going to eat me, are you? We could just make another fusion generator as well. Really? Uh, because I think I have the pulsar quartz? No, I do not. I'm short a few. Okay, and then I need four super alloy, I think, which means I'm one short. Uh, one more of... Oh, I didn't actually get rid of the machine optimizer that's in here. Okay, and then deconstruct that. Got to consider whether we can turn other things into tradable things as well. They did reduce the amount of terror tokens you needed as well. It used to be 500,000 for the smuggler ending, and now it's only 250,000. Still quite a lot. And power is restored. There we go. Now we can get everything back up and running. So we're still almost, you know, almost 50,000 away still. That's going to take us a while to get to. Jeez, oh, that's bright. <laughs> uh, sorry for your eyes, but that, that was a lot of osmium. Oh, I think one fell out of bounds or something. Oh no, that's just the light. I think the idea is you would set up a bunch of resource extractors potentially and like auto crafters or something to be able to just make a ton of pulsar quartz earlier on so you just never run out basically for whatever use that you needed it for it's a shame that you can't use the other crystals because we get all of this stuff but they're not even tradable for some reason I don't get why not. Even Solar Quartz isn't tradable. It seems weird to me that they, they wouldn't be tradable in some way. Well, that's a bunch of extra Pulsar Quartz. And at the same time, we should... N oh, we're no longer getting our drones, that's right. <laughs> and these are no longer... Oh, actually, those, still, those fuses are still there. That's true. I never yanked the production multiplier fuses, so that's another... How much are these? That's another 15,000. Huh, that could be worthwhile, couldn't it? Uh, but without our drones, uh, this thing, nothing is getting collected anymore. Super alloy rod, osmium rod, and three circuit boards. Oh, I sent off all the circuit boards, didn't I? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Do I? Did I keep any of those aside anywhere? There's one. Um, oops. I'm just going to have to go to a wreck and deconstruct some. That's fine. Two more circuit boards. Which I can make, can't I? Can't I? Sure I can. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can make those. Silicon, iron, aluminium. So I can, but they're a pain. <laughs> yep. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> Should have known. Ah, uh, this one. Ah, oh, wow. Just. It's like a hundred. Hundred difference. Okay. Right to the top. Uh, either an amphibium farm or a tree spreader should be plenty. We have so many amphibian farms out the front that we no longer need. So all of these guys. Golden frog eggs. You guys are just kind of creepy to be honest. There we go. That was enough. Alright, that gives us a little bit of overhead. Where did I put my drones? They were in one of these. Here we go. So I can put those back in here and they can start doing their good work again. There we go. And immediately they're off. Um, I should have made more of those really. But yeah, they can go do their work. So what do we still need? The all-time terror tokens traded 265,000. We're getting some refunds on some things in terms of the fuses. Actually, there's some eggs that I 
got that I should be able to now uh, trade back again, I think. Not sure about tree seeds. I can't trade back the blueprints. I've already traded back the those. And yeah, the, the fuses. Fish eggs, butterfly larvae. And yeah, frog eggs. I should just check what there is around that might be tradable. We do have 15,000 available in the production. So let's strip those and deconstruct you. And that frees up some power capacity as well. Um, but we can at least trade off those fuses. And that'll get us closer. And then we just need to explore a bit more, I feel. So let's just cram you full of some of these rods, shall we? I should also just be making a ton of bacteria samples too, eh? Because those are worth six each. It's not great. It's not It's not nothing. Um, and then Auto Crafter could actually just craft those. That's not a bad, bad idea. So we've got algal things over here. We, we should probably consolidate some more things. Like get the water collectors right by the algal blooms instead. Anyway, let's just put a living compartment here the door there and an auto crafter in here and you should craft bacteria samples and we should build a locker for a start so we need a couple more iron that's fine but then we just clear out these and deconstruct that and I won't have room for anything else, so that's fine. There, put those in there. So you should already be able to make these, right? Because it says if they're with, found within range, inventories and items without it doesn't include algae. Do I need to collect from you guys? Because you, you're wild in the world, right? Unless you just need to be closer? Hmm. Because I don't want to have to keep coming back and collecting things. I want to be able to just leave it to do whatever I want it to do. Well, let's put the water collector down anyway. Um, lake water collector. Going to put you down right here, I guess. So they're right next to there. And now I guess we can take these out again and deconstruct these and this and that. And if we move this like right here, <laughs> no excuse in terms of... Now, as long as it's not going to be flooded is the other thing. Floating base. <laughs> With an auto crafter right here. And yeah, we go. Now it's got. Oh, okay, so it was just a capacity thing or just a, a vicinity thing. Alright. So we need to move the other one closer. We can put those in there for now. You should now. Yeah, there we go. Get started. You now are set to supply back. No, not bioplastic nuggets. Uh, bacteria sample. And now we need to make another trade rocket. <laughs> or move uh, an existing trade rocket over here, perhaps. Now we also are just going to collect all of these and put them into the locker for now and then deconstruct it and move it right by here. So we have the other one also right here overlapping with the other one. So we also, we previously were like, oh, we'll, we'll spread things out and make it look kind of nice to be all spread out so they don't all overlap. No, no, no. <laughs> With auto crafters, you just want everything to be all co condensed together. You don't want it spread out. Because the range on the auto crafters is rubbish. And then we can put the other water collector down here. And then put those in there. Cool. And it should just, yep, keep going as it can. Obviously it uses three and three, so it takes a while. So it's not quick, particularly, but, you know, 
that can now do its thing and then we can have a trade rocket set up Instead of having two rockets here, well they're both gone at the moment, unfortunately, but you're back in three minutes, you're back a bit later. Okay, maybe we should just build another one. Gives us options. Ah, oh, we need more circuit boards for that. That's annoying. I guess the drones work like everywhere anyway, right? So we can set these up to um, accept bacteria regardless. Now we could also set up, I mean, well, one, we've got some extras anyway. We could set you up to demand bacteria sample with a minus one priority. We'll then go set that autocrafter up to supply it. Oh, we already did, I think, didn't we? Yeah, sure, we already did. We've got another algal generator as well that we can bring over here if we need to. Because I'm not sure what's going to be more in hot demand these probably don't produce as quickly as those so we probably do need another lake water generator that's not quick but it will work and i think that's what we really needed to focus on much earlier and hopefully we're fine on power for the time being as well that'll be the other thing that screws us over again but we can put down more fusions if we need to. And then at a certain point, we can actually just yank our fusion generators and be done with it. Um, so, lake water collector, another one there, and another one there. There it is. Yep, low power. Okay, let's so deconstruct these so things keep moving. Let's go and make more. Oh, food level critical. Okay, we need to eat something. Also, I don't want you guys anymore. And also, fish farm. You are not very useful to me. I have another one somewhere as well. Probably in the other lake. They ended up being very disappointing because they didn't seem to actually do much. Alright. That, sh that should have freed up enough power, right? Probably. So we should be able to put the... Oh, there we go. Another 19,000 tier tokens. Excellent. <laughs> So, what are we doing? Water collector. There we go. Good. 